In the previous episode, we started to max certain skills and attributes, such as charm and intelligence. We finally got married to Ira and she got pregnant. We resumed the trading skill grind while at peace and we're currently over level 50. Oh boy. Western Empire. Oh, perfect. All right, we want to take Zeonica. Let's get down there right away. We need to give up our castle. All right, let's actually just sell most of what we have. I don't want to be overburdened. Yeah, whatever. We'll lose a little bit of money on some of this stuff. So anything that's green, we'll dump. Not our trade goods, though. We need to keep that. We don't have... Yeah, we don't have a, a herding penalty, so we'll keep all the, the animals. Yeah, we're fine. We're in range. We're in range. We can just go. So next one gives us useless perks. Useless perks. This is the one that's good. Artisan community. So once we get there, and then once we get to 150, we get the mercenary troop wage reduction. So that'll be handy. And then the next good one is up here at Spring of Gold. You can get a thousand dinars a day just by keeping a million in the bank. So we'll, we'll try and get to that as well. Oh no, not Jamaris. Not Jamaris. We need to get there right away. This is the opening salvo of the war too. So it's probably a huge army. We may not get there in time. This is going to take several days. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Regea, I believe in you. Get up there. Get up there. Nope. How bad is it? Oh, they didn't start it yet. Okay, uh, what? That's such a small army. Oh, we don't have to worry about it. <laughs> we were worrying about nothing. They might bring another army soon. If we take Xanaka, that's going to be huge. As soon as Xanaka falls, we give up Onika Castle. That's the plan. Because if we have too many fiefs, then we're less likely to be on the vote to get it. So, Now this one, Militia Ground is almost done. Three days. I think we still leave it, though. I think we just leave it alone. We need to buy some stuff, though. Actually, that was not a good idea. There's no way they, they take all that raw silk. Yeah, we're low on date fruit. They have only two here. That's not good. No olives. Yeah, we need to stock up on some stuff. All right, we also don't want them to... Oh, okay. Yeah, they're going to actually siege this for sure. They're starting the siege, so let's break in. So we lose about 50 troops, but then we smash them, like completely smash them. So this is the bulk of their army. They're gone. So now we can focus on taking thieves pretty much, right? Yeah, we're way ahead. This is nothing. We got almost 70 influence, quite a bit of renown. And medicine is up past 200. That's really, really good for us. So we'll take prisoners. Enough. We can donate them to somebody else's garrison if we want to get the relations. We're going to take all the prisoners because we're in a town. We can immediately sell them. Wait, who is our crossbow carrier? You cannot use the hickory crossbow yet. Yeah, we need him to, to level up a little bit. Level 40 crossbow and you're only at 30. That's not good. Okay, what are we doing here? Just get rid of everything. Nope, they don't have money for it. Sweet. Throw a little bit of money back their way. Now, troop-wise... Oh, yeah, we got to get rid of prisoners. Actually, that was not as much money as I thought it was going to be. How are our parties... Yeah, we lost a few bit of troops, actually. So we need to recruit back up. Let's go do that. And this guy is still raiding us. Yeah, Namos, you've got to go. He finished it. Son of a gun. That sucks, man. Yeah, that's going to hurt our thief. That... Oh, and they... Dude, they got both of them. These were at like 400 and something. Now they're down to 250. That hurts. That is really painful, actually. All right, we'll increase raid speed. I don't know that we'll ever do that, but we'll do it. And then uh, this one is an interesting one, but, you know, we can't use governor perks on our main character, obviously, so we're, we have to take physician of the people. It's pretty nice, though. If you're trying to level up low tier troops, you, if you get stuck with a bunch of low tier, this helps them stay alive. 30% chance to recover. It's actually pretty good. Especially when you mix it in with your high medicine skill. Those two combined, you're going to lose very few people. So, I did not mean to do that. All right, we do need date fruit. Yeah, they don't have any. Jeez. All right, that's fine. We're getting there. It's going to take us a little while. But it, the nice thing is we're doing it later in the campaign. So, it's not as tedious because we have a big army. We have a lot of room for them. Unfortunately, we can't recruit because these... Oh, uh, they're raiding that one too. Get off of my thieves, man. Get out of here, you little rat. And they're still doing that siege, man. We might need to go help them. Santa is not falling. What do we got? Yeah, that'll get rid of that. Do we still have... Do they have a little bit of dig fruit. That looks good. Yeah, we got a little... A few too many. We need to distribute troops back to the... To our, our party. We'll start spending upgrades on some of the cav. I think I'd, I'd rather just have it. Nice. Iris pregnant. Finally. Oh, they didn't finish the siege. What the heck are you doing? All right, let me just make sure that they're actually going to siege this thing. They're not. There's only 300 people in there, too. I wish these two parties would go do it. Oh, that's a pretty big army, but we can definitely survive. This is no problem. 
I actually don't want them to come. This is way easier for us to deal with than, than for them. But they're going to do it. Let's let Regea... No, she's not going to go. All right, we might have to help then. This is not really worth fighting either. Just let it auto resolve. Yeah, four troops lost. Who cares? This guy got a trade perk. How the heck did you get a trade perk? All right, we want to keep pumping in points into Stuart. All right, nobody else. Let's go double check. Actually, this place is going to have a really full dungeon. So let's empty it out. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. And as soon as this army gets in there, there's 348 prisons. They're probably going to dump all of them in here again. So we're going to get double the money for this. So 10k for that. Make a little money for the trade. No big deal. And as soon as they touch, we go back in and the dungeon is magically full again. 300. Oh, they dumped everybody. So they went all out. Yeah, that's good. That's going to be a lot of money for us. Actually, not that much because these are mostly low tier. But the good thing is we do get roguery XP for this. We just got five roguery levels. So it's fine. It's not a complete loss. And then this army's got prisoners. They're going to drop their... Oh, no, they don't actually. They don't have prisoners. All right. Well, we do need to fill out the parties. So let's, let's keep doing that. So we want to make sure these guys have as many troops as they can. And then we'll just go around hiring everybody else. There we go. All right. Now let's help them go down and, and take the town. Like I said, if Zeonica falls, it will go to us most likely. What are you doing? What are you doing, Riga? Come on. Your daughter's here. Let's all be a happy family. Go siege this town. They're raiding again, dude. I ab absolutely hate that. They got it too. They got it off. We were like seconds too late. I hate that, man. Yeah, there's no way we catch them either. All right. That is not worrisome at all yet. And again, this is a gimme battle. We're not going to lose hardly anything. We lost a single troop on our main party. Yeah, who cares? Enough. Again, we'll sell prisoners. Once we get up to a million or so, we can probably back it off. So many of these nobles, we need to figure out what we're going to do with them. We're going to donate them to somebody, but there's like nobody nearby. I don't want to leave this area because we're going to just keep getting sieged, I think. All right, fairgrounds is still being worked on. Yeah, that's tough because we're starving. Oh man, that's really bad. Oh boy. But there's there's not much we can do about it. We just have to babysit the area. All right, Rigae is sieging Zionica again. I think we need to go help. There's Garios. So the king's not even in an army. What is he doing? All right, a thousand. She probably needs help. Yeah, 1,000 against 500 is not really good odds. That'd be really good if she could actually take all, everything out. All right, nobles are escaping from our party. Not much we can do about it, though. We're pretty close. Once we hit clan tier 4, that's our power spike is going to be pretty huge because we're going to be also very close to 250 on leadership, and we can get two parties instead of just one. Like I said, our power is going to spike up pretty heavily. We need to just tough it out, tough it out a little bit longer, and then we'll be in good shape. Uh, yeah, we have to fight this one because auto resolve is not going to be kind at all on this one. We'll just let the AI do their thing. I mean, there's not much we can do during a siege. Like I said, if the walls are breached, we could probably do something interesting, but like this, not really. Yeah, it's kind of rough. We just got to sit in the back and and do our thing. Or you know what? Let's go show our loyalty out of the way. We're pushing this thing for Regea. This is <laughs> this is the man smitten simping at his finest pushing her <laughs> we're pushing her mighty chariot all right this is actually going pretty smooth i think we're keeping up with them we actually have more kills than they do yeah that's that's really bad for them this is going to be a stomp let's go investigate oh dimitri the lover is in trouble how come nobody's going down the middle oh no he died <laughs> we did our best Oh, no, we got a kill. No, 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 no. We weren't supposed to get a kill. <laughs> oh, no. And it gave us one-handed. We shield bashed somebody for one damage and he died. <laughs> that doesn't count. That doesn't count. We're still not fighting, right? It's so funny. They would have gotten rolled up by now if it weren't for us. No doubt in my mind. She would have gotten stomped. Yeah, nobody saw that. We just we gave him a little love tap with their shield. We only lost three in our main party. That's good. As you can see, the medicine skill's kicking in, so we're barely losing people now. Ooh, nice. A marksman flag. Increased range damage. That's actually really good. Somebody else can hang on to the other one. As soon as this happens, you don't want any time to elapse. Don't let any time elapse. We need to go to, to give away Onika Castle. So we're going to go in. We need Onika to be out of our hands before the vote happens. If it's still in our hands by the time the vote happens, I think it'll exclude us. So we're going to give this back. We should be able to do a big vote. Yeah, we can do a big vote on this one. So they're voting pretty heavily with their influence, which is good because that'll allow us to maybe get a policy going. Let's see. No, they're still pretty heavily against it. We have to drain them. 
All right, so this should go to us, assuming we don't get gypped. We were on the front line of this thing, and she loves us. We got another point. Let's just put it into roguery. I do want to get writing up as well, but we don't have a way of farming this XP. It's literally just riding around the map on the campaign map, and it's a really slow XP drip, so that's going to take a while. Come on, give me the vote. Give me the vote. All right, here we go. Oh, you know what? I forgot we have prisoners on us we can donate. That'll give us a little bit of influence gain. Yes, we got it. And we can still raise relations a little bit. Yeah, we'll do this. And we're still going to get it. So we raise relations with him. And we still get the thief. All right, we got three towns now. So we started off with, what, one castle, then two castles. And then we traded out for one town. Now we're kind of slowly consolidating power in this region, which is perfect. Now, the garrison here is probably not going to be too crazy. Let's make sure our, our other parties are topped off. Really? Off by one. Nope. 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 I want to give them low tier. There we go. Let's top this guy off. Yeah, that leaves us with a little bit of a deficit, but it's fine. What we can do is we can throw... Let's throw a crossbow in there. And then we need to hire back up. So we don't have... Oh, we do have, actually. Yeah. So we'll hang on to them. And let's just recruit back up. Now, managing town, what we need to do is turn everything off. We'll get militia going again. This town's in good shape, so it's not going to take nearly as long to do it. We don't need to sit here and babysit it, though. If it gets sieged down, we're in the area. We'll come right back. It's not a big deal. Oh, look at Regea. She's chasing them off from raiding our villages. Actually, that's not our village anymore because we just got rid of it. All right, we got to go somewhere else. All right, these little parties are probably going to come into siege. Yours is not a yeah. We can gobble them up by doing this. I want to get good relations with all the mercenaries. I don't know if it helps avoid being raided. I don't think it does, but some people seem to think it does. So I guess we got nothing to lose anyways. We'll just do it. All right. Sell a few things. Oh, I forgot. We need to get more date fruit. No, are they starving? No, they have a ton of food. So this place is actually, yeah, this, this is a really good thief. I think it's going to be a good thief for us. Let's get rid of some resources. We don't need this much. All right, so let's keep allowing them to come siege it down with, you know, what, a single party. Oh, we got to deal with Jamaris. It's probably okay, though. 500. Actually, no, that's a serious army. Oh, crap. Well, good thing we got her in time. 48 troops. We'll still... No, we're going to have a lot. It's going to be more than enough to stomp this guy out. There's another one. We just took another army out. That's like the third army that we've destroyed. So this is how you help your kingdom, right? It's mostly... Most of the heavy lifting is going to be done on defense. Uh, this guy we don't have relations with yet, so let's actually let him go. These guys we're gonna keep. Oh, we got Garios. Sturgy and native. Oh, nice. We upgraded our horse. Okay. 7k for that. We probably need some troops. All right, we gotta donate again. Actually, we didn't lose that many. We lost about 40 or 50, but most of them were lost when we snuck into the town. The higher tactics we go up, the better off we'll be on that. Yeah, we're gonna take this one. We're not recruiting any prisoners. So we're purely doing it off of the party leader perk, the second one, 20% XP when you send people for auto resolve. We are going to be doing a decent amount of auto resolve because otherwise this campaign is going to drag on for like a month. Just make sure nobody's got points that we're not spending. We're good. Oh, come on. You're teasing me. We're so close. She's still prego. Should be having a kid soon, I think. We need to manage this town, right? Fairgrounds. Yeah, it's still in good shape. So the garrison's still reasonably intact, so I think we can probably go back down oh settlement besieged Danica it's probably a tiny party yeah they just captured him again so we got our nice little triangle of towns we can get to any of these in time before they start the siege so we can pretty much defend these infinitely without much issue let's recruit back up to full all right these towns need to be babysat because they got raided pretty hard unfortunately and let's upgrade them let's go check out Amatadis haven't been there in a while let's just make sure we're good there yeah, orchard done in one day. Let's wait around, actually. Oh, we need to get most of ground. Let's finish that. We'll do that. And then training ground. Actually, we don't need to wait for this. This is fine. So I'll put a few bucks in there. Back to Zanica. Actually, you know what? Let's... I think John Midas was almost done with the town. Oh, nice. Brigade is chasing somebody down. She needs some help. They're going to siege our town down. And then Brigade is going to stomp. We don't need to help. She's got it under control. The justification there is we are simping. We want her to feel powerful. So we'll let her take the easy fights. <laughs> Now our scout did hit 200. We're going to take probably detection range. I don't really care about trade penalty. So hideout detection range, right? Yeah, she stomped that, that army out already. All right, here they come. They're going to start raiding us. So we got to get ready. All right, do it. Do it, you bastard. Yep, there's no getting away now. Why are we getting relations with our wife? I'm not sure. Maybe it's because 
it might have to do with the traits. Like we did something daring if she's daring or I don't know. Yeah, we have minus relations with this guy for some reason. Let's try and fix that. Not that it matters, but might as well. Yeah, they're just going to keep sending everybody to raid. There goes another one. That's close enough. Yeah, five losses. Big whoop. Oh, there's an army. All right, so they're probably going south. I do like leaving Zeonica really weak because it draws them in past. Like, we have all this vision right here. So they have to go all the way through here to get to Zeonica. And it, it brings them into our land, you know, and smash them pretty easily. We still need this one to finish so we can do the next level of fairgrounds because I don't want to leave this thing without it. That's fine. They'll go down and siege it. We need to recruit, don't we? Oh, no, these are max. What am I doing? All right, we can throw them in the garrison. That's fine. All right, you need to finish building. Come on. There it goes. All right, we can do the next level of fairgrounds and then we're done here. We just need to pull up some of these other ones. Yeah, something like that'll work. We'll go save Zeonica. No big deal. There's a couple ways to look at it. Well, never mind. That's kind of irrelevant now that we're fighting. All right, what's the AI going to do? Are they going to just charge in? Yep, they're going to just charge in. They actually have a pretty sizable cavalry force here. So we can't get too lazy on this. And I actually favor going this way to try and bait their cavalry in so they don't roam our back lines. All right, our allies slamming into their lines for absolutely no reason. All right, we're going to take the position. We'll let our ally distract them. That's fine. They can go kill themselves on their army. Not a big deal. Hold a little bit of an elevation advantage. Let's actually pull our troops back a little bit more. Now, we want to keep a nice, compact line so if they charge us, then we'll be in decent shape. Now, we don't have too many cab, but the cab that we do have, we want to have protecting our archers. Let's actually do the same with the horse archers. We'll throw them up here as well. Oh, we're shredding their cab. Yeah, get out of here, cab. Right, we need to pull our infantry back a little bit. Kind of bad timing on that, but that's okay. So what's going to happen here is they're going to hit our lines with their 100 and whatever. We're going to hold fire with our archers, charge the archers in and the infantry all together as one giant mass, and they're just going to get completely stomped. And they're dead. Yeah, we lost literally nobody. We pulled the archers back, and then that's it. As soon as the lines meet, if you don't have an overwhelming force with your infantry, you need your archers to, to hold fire and get in there and, and attack as well. Yeah, they've just completely melted. All right, I would love it if... I tried to get my infantry on the front with the shield wall, but for some reason, maybe I had the wrong formation selected. That was weird. And I don't want to sacrifice Cav. There's no need. We have a shield wall. We've got overwhelming superiority. We just sit back and pick them off. Like I said, pretty easy fight. Yeah, let me just speed this up. They're going to get slaughtered. That's rough being the last two people there. <laughs> They're taking some shots, man. Yeah, pretty good. We lost 101 troops, but they lost all their troops. I wasn't about to get in there and do something stupid, so... We lost, like, maybe 10 people. We lost 11 people, personally, so... No-brainer. We gotta get relations up with some of these people. Okay, so... Wow, we made a lot of money on that. Holy mow. We we're almost at a million. We're not even doing anything crazy for it. So we'll take the plus 10 party size on this perk, this level 75 tactics perk. I really like that perk. We got plan tier four. We can start another party. This is huge. Uh, we got our bitter drop guy here ready to go. He can take it. So we should probably get a few more troops. We need to get everybody else outfitted. Vatican. So he's going to lead that army. Call him in. And then we need to go recruit back up to full. Or try anyways. So maybe we don't get completely raided into the dirt. We're going to get a lot of peasants or a lot of the tier one, but not much you can do about it. We'll have to nurture them and keep them alive. So that's another army. We've wasted, what is that, four or five this war? That's the fourth or fifth army that we wasted. We should be going on the offense now. Yeah, and they are. Hertigea, Sturgius taking their fiefs. The walls are closing in. If we could get Rote, if we can get four towns, that would be awesome. Garios escaped. That sucks. There goes one of our prime money makers, but that's all right. Let's just keep going back and forth to our towns until we get maxed out, and then we'll go. One of the good things about having the, all these low-tier troops is they get sacrificed first, I believe. Most of them do anyways. Maybe not all of them, but... Jamaris is being sieged probably by... Yeah, I was going to say, not, not a huge army, but it definitely can't be that small. There's no way that siege goes on anyways. Let's just go recruit over here a little bit. You know, we haven't been checking the dungeon here. Let's just leave these guys. I'm not going to throw them anywhere, and that'll make it easier. We can just... Get rid of prisoners from this screen. Oh, they took him out. <laughs> Regea again, man. She's so good to us, isn't she? Yeah, it's like 
you know, looking at her and comparing her to Durthard, it's like night and day, man. She's such a good queen. She's worthy of the simp. All right, let's upgrade. We have a lot of upgrades here because we've been collecting a lot of recruits. So let's go upgrade all these. Now, question, do we want to start switching away from all archers? No, I think we want more archers. All right, where is she going? Otis to Cotis? I would actually prefer you take Rote. How many defenders? Man, there's a lot of nobles, though. This is going to be tough. They've got a pretty healthy amount of small parties around that can swarm. So sieging is going to be kind of tough if you don't have a massive army. All right, we'll sneak into towns. And we finally got 275. So that's going to increase our income by decreasing our party wage. But it's at this point, it's pretty much irrelevant. We have so much money. All right, here we go. Here comes another army. Hopefully they pick up a few more. I would love to see... No, they're going to raid. They're going to raid with their big army. Are you kidding me? You are such a nasty little human being. Yeah, I don't really want to fight in the village. It's kind of you annoying. I am... okay. right, let's see if we can gain a little bit more relations with these people. And maybe that'll curtail some of that raiding. Probably won't, but we'll see. Yeah, actually, that didn't cost us hardly anything. We basically are fully intact. All right, let's hang out in the middle here. If they try and raid anything, like this guy, he looks like he's going for it. No. If they go to siege, if they try and raid, we're within, you know, half a day's ride. Yep, there he goes. And he gets away with it because it doesn't make any sense. Like, if they're raiding, they should be disorganized. It doesn't make any sense. All right, Regea is going to come in and clean that up, I think. We'll help. The more units we pile on, the better numbers that we'll have. Yeah, we lost 18 total to clear out 290. It's pretty good. So we're getting some perks. This guy is not mounted. He's not leading an army. But we'll use him for the governor perk if we ever decide to use him as that. Let's see. Movement speed is irrelevant for him. Now, this guy's leading an army. You always want to make sure people in your army are using this perk, Efficient Campaigner, because it reduces their wages. You have all the nice perks in your main party, but then the rest of your kingdom don't have it. It's kind of a waste. So if everybody has minus 25 wage for being in an army, then your wages go down significantly overall. That's a pretty big help. Right, somebody got a level here. Lead the ragged. We need to actually give him some bow skill. Let's funnel it into bow. And we actually gained a level on... Nice, our scholar. So we can put that in. Yeah. So four intelligence, another point into Stuart. He's just going to keep leading bigger and bigger parties. I think we're pretty close to max, aren't we? Yeah. We do need to find one more person to lead parties, though, because we have one more coming our way. So we should probably do that. Actually, what do we have? Prisoners, just regular prisoners. We can dump them. Oh, speaking of which, yeah, we need to keep this up. We got to go south and find some date fruit. Look at how much grain we have. Holy cow. And the fish. Let's make our rounds real quick. Check out, make sure we're not, uh, oh, are they raiding again? No, we're not getting raided. Let's see if we need to update this building. I can't remember. No, this one's still going, so we're good. All right, Tuban is not maxed. And yeah, we still have too many, so let's drop a, a couple off here. Speaking of dungeon. Yeah, it's just those guys. All right, let's go back and make sure that we're not getting raided. The early game is all about just survival, kind of clawing your way up to not getting stomped off the map. And then you get to this point, and then you're pretty much unstoppable. We still have a little ways to go on our power spike. We need to get up to 250 on leadership. We'll be there pretty soon. And next time we get an attribute point, it's going to go into social, so it'll go up even faster soon. All right, somebody's going to try and raid, and they're just going to get slapped. They're doing the thing. <laughs> the jiggle jiggle. Just go siege it, Regea. You can do it. That's so many parties. The AI is just paralyzed. They don't know what to do. All right. Yeah, we can't allow that. Dude, they can get away so fast, man. That's so stupid. The raiding party. Next time, maybe we'll disband and then pick them back up. I really want to stop them from doing that. Oh, that army broke apart. They're going to get caught here. This is a pretty bad idea to do that. <laughs> the jiggle jiggle. What are you guys doing? Here we go. Efficient campaigner. So that's another one that's going to reduce our wages even more. Annoying little gnats. All right, another army's coming up. Let's see if th what they try and do. Are they going to try and raid us again? Hey, we got a baby. What kind of baby, though? Let's see if she looks psycho from this one, too. I love the animations on these. <laughs> it's like from a game from like 20 years ago or something. It's funny. Oh, <laughs> coming to check out my child in my underwear. <laughs> and then I just sit on her leg like, I know you just gave birth. I'm going to sit on your leg. Uh, she looks kind of creepy. Yeah, she looks a little creepy. All right, that's enough. <laughs> Hopefully we can get her pregnant again. That would be good, but maybe not. All right, we can maybe help catch Nadia. Oh, that's a bad place to be. Yep, you just got swallowed whole. All right, Sesta Dame's being sieged. There's no way we're going over there. We got to protect our land, I think. 
Yeah, it's so annoying when they start doing the swarm. The best way to counter this is to take a thief and leave it very weak on the front lines and then have them come in and you just capture them one by one. It's pretty hard to chase them out. Well, they're not raiding us anymore. That's a good sign. Oh, nope. I spoke a little bit too soon. Oh, look at that. 1300 versus 183. You get what you deserve. Yeah, we still have bad relations with them for some reason. We haven't done anything. We haven't raided anybody. We haven't executed anybody. I don't know why we have negative relations with them. We might have sieged their beef down or something. A right, crossbow guy. Reload speed. Yeah, reload speed. Let's see if we can help her get into position to actually do something. Oh, here we go. That's actually really good. Massive army catching that tiny group. Let's see if we can clear the way for her to see. Nope, she's going down. Never mind. Now, let's see if we can. No, why is she going back that way? I'm so confused. Like, they're pathing and they're. You know what we could do is we could just shut them in here and they just stay here so they can't get out. We can't siege it down, but they also can't come out. This is probably a pretty good way to do it. Now, if they attack us with enough numbers, we might be in trouble, but so far it doesn't seem like that's the case. Okay, that actually does concern me a little bit. Yeah. They're going to group up into an army finally, so it's not going to be a bunch of little gnats. We'll back off a little bit, see where they're going to go. They might try and relieve a siege or something. Here comes the swarm. All right, let's keep the swarm back in there. Yeah, they're not going to raid at least. So it's kind of sad that this is what we have to do, but you know, it's better than running back and forth. All right, so they took care to get. That's actually really good. That's their westernmost. Oh, no, they have Ortizia. Ortizia will probably fall to something else. So Western Empire is just about eliminated. Now we got to work on reclaiming the rest of the Empire Thieves. We wouldn't be able to siege it, but we could start it at least. All right, we don't want this. No, we don't. We don't want it. That's fine. We'll take it and we'll give it away. We'll get some relations gain here. Yeah, we're not going to keep it even for a second. Hertogea, get out of here. Yeah, we can't vote on that. We got to let them do it. Regea the first. Actually, can we do that? I think we can. I like that. Actually, if it's a boy, we could just do it like Regeo or something. Add an O instead of an A. <laughs> something like that. How dare we? How dare we blaspheme her name? <laughs> There's only one first. All right. Uh, what can we do here? All right. These two gained a level. Let's pump it in so they can keep expanding their party size. Policies. So clan influence. We're actually doing pretty good. What we're going to do now is spam peace votes just to drain their influence. And then we're going to pass the policies. We're not going to force the peace, but we do want to get rid of their influence. So we'll just keep doing this till they have none. So maybe if there's only like three or four left, we can probably try the vote. See if that helps. How about Regea almost? She's no longer known as, as Ira. Or we could put like close enough or something. <laughs> All right, they're starting to do only single votes. So let's test it just to see if we can maybe sneak it by. No, it's too many. Yeah, we, we can't. There's some other stuff we could probably do. Wait, did we get... Yeah, we got Noble Retinue. That's really the main one that I think we should be focusing on. Look, we could get a little bit of loyalty, but the 0.5 is just not. It's just kind of a nothing burger. All right. We don't have enough influence to drain because they're only spending a single, right? They're spending only one. They have quite a bit left. Yeah, we have to wait. Dang. I thought we could get it in there, but I think we need to save up a bit more first. Sestadame is being sieged again. No surprise there. <laughs> we gain relations with Regea almost. Oh, they're doing it. Yep, you little weasel. All right, we're not going to allow that. If you please. All right, let's gain relations with them. I'm pretty sure some of these guys lost troops. Not really. Interesting. Where did she come from? Oh, we gained a level. Nice. That is one point into social. We should be able to get leadership a little bit faster. The next perk is not really that important. The shared experience for archers is kind of nice, though, but not that big of a deal. Really, the big one is the 250. That that expands our army by a significant amount. That doesn't matter. We're going to have enough points. We'll have these both maxed out as well. All right, let's try and corral all these guys back into the beef. No, nope, they're going to get out. And they're just going to keep trying to raid us, I bet. All right, how's the AI doing? So they defended Sustadame. That's good. Took it back, defended it. Hertige got taken. So we're keeping them busy. They're down to their last handful of thieves here. 